he dated it. Like, I don't know what day it is. <laughs> made it. It's finally here. I've been dreaming about this day since I was a little girl. I'm so excited to see you walk down that aisle and become my wife. You set my soul on fire. You pull my heart beat toward the sun. Wondering what my dress would look like, what the flowers would be, and most importantly, who would be waiting for me at the end of the aisle. You are so special to me and the time we've had growing in love and happiness has been the best time of my life. There's a quiet moving in your race. It's a peace I've never known. From spooky haunted houses and a 15-year-old father's landscaping building and getting grilled in the parking lot to standing on the altar committing ourselves in front of God and our family and friends. You set my soul on fire You pull my heart beat towards the sun You give me no eyes open I asked you both to come up with a list of things you loved about each other. So John, this is what you said. You loved her spontaneity. She's kind and caring and loving in her disposition. Melita, you loved the deep friendship that you have with John, the comfort that you bring each other, the desire to grow in faith that he has, his optimism in the way that he loves people. Now get that dress on, get your makeup did, and come see me at the end of that aisle, baby. You set my soul on fire. I have been praying for years that God would bring a great man that would strive to make you happy and put you first. I'm so glad that you and John found each other. When Mel walks in the room, you can see his eyes light up. You can see him smiling from ear to ear. And it's the same kind of thing I would see as we were kids on Christmas morning opening presents. We got not. I love you. Yes, ma'am. I present to you Mr. and Mrs. John Cutshell. Mimi, you are the greatest sister ever, and I have wished that to you since day one. That's the first sentence in the mirror. most of my life. As we all know, John is shy. John is quiet. And he hates being the center of attention. There is none upon the earth that I desire before you, Lord. Father, thank you for getting us here and getting us across the finish line. It's been ups and downs and stress, and we just thank you that you've brought us together and that you've brought us here. And uh, we ask that you will bless us and bless our future, bless our family, and allow us to uh, grow in each other, grow in you. I need to say what my soul is singing. <laughs> I need to say what my heart is screaming. Yeah. 
You are truly the man of my dreams, and I could not ask for a more thoughtful, kind, generous, loving man to spend, to spend the rest, the rest of, my of my life with. You make me laugh so hard that I can't breathe. You're always willing to go on adventures, and you give up yourself so sacrificially, and always put me first. And there's no place I would rather be than in your arms. I know that together we can do anything, and I pray that we will grow deeper in the Lord and stronger in each other every single day. Did I love you?